T-Mobile Unlock Error 37 is a common issue that occurs during the device unlocking process, even when your device appears to meet all eligibility requirements. This error can be frustrating, but there are systematic steps to resolve it. Before troubleshooting Error 37, verify your device meets the basic eligibility requirements. Your device must be sold by T-Mobile, not reported as lost or stolen, and your account must be in good standing with no outstanding balances. Plan-specific requirements differ significantly. Postpaid customers need at least 40 days of active service and must have fully paid off any device financing. Prepaid customers need either 365 days since activation or, if activated recently, over $100 in refills with more than 14 days since purchase. If your device meets eligibility requirements but still shows error 37, start with basic troubleshooting. Restart your device, ensure you have a stable internet connection, and verify that a T-Mobile SIM card is properly inserted. Next, check for and install any available firmware or operating system updates. Outdated software can sometimes interfere with the unlocking process. After updating, restart your device and try the unlock process again. If basic troubleshooting fails, contact T-Mobile support directly. First, dial star pound zero six pound to get your device's IMEI number. When calling support, provide this IMEI number along with your account details and specifically mention error 37. As a last resort, consider performing a factory reset. This will completely erase your device, so back up all important data first. Navigate to settings, then system, then reset options and select erase all data. After setting up your device again, try the unlock process. Remember these key points when dealing with T-Mobile Unlock Error 37. Always verify eligibility first, try basic troubleshooting steps, have your IMEI number ready when contacting support, and consider factory reset only as a last resort since it erases all device data. When T-Mobile support cannot resolve Unlock Error 37, several alternative solutions are available. These range from built-in device features to third-party services, each with different levels of reliability and safety. Many Android devices have built-in unlocking capabilities. Older Android devices may include a pre-installed device unlock app that can be found in your app drawer or settings menu. For newer Samsung devices from 2019 or later, there's a specific path through the settings menu. Navigate to settings, then connections, more connection settings, and finally, network unlock. Third-party unlocking services exist, but they require extreme caution. Services like Unlock Here are sometimes mentioned, but thorough research is essential to avoid scams and protect your device and personal information. The Federal Communications Commission is considering a new rule that would require all carriers to unlock phones within 60 days of activation. This could significantly simplify the unlocking process in the future though carriers like T-Mobile are currently opposing this change. T-Mobile automatically unlocks eligible devices remotely within two business days if the device supports remote unlocking. You can check your unlock status directly in your T-Mobile account online or through their mobile app. Stay aware that unlocking policies can change over time, so always check for the latest requirements. For devices not originally sold by T-Mobile, you'll need to contact the original carrier or manufacturer for unlocking assistance.